I think the answer then gets to be something like um, what uh, David Weinberger and the crew were on to with the, the Clue Train Manifesto, right, is that you have conversations with your customers. That if if the if the primary communication dynamic that you have with your customer is one in which you're just pushing them information, whether it be marketing data or, or or marketing information or whatever, then no, you're you're never going to really get to know them. If instead um, you have conversations with them, then that that's. A, a totally different dynamic. So you look at somebody like uh, uh, Bob Lutz, who is the former vice chairman of General Motors, and he started a blog to talk about General Motors cars from uh, the standpoint not of a vice chairman of General Motors, but from someone who loves cars. In the, the first month or so of him having this blog up, he actually had to work really hard to convince people that he was Bob Lutz, the vice chairman of General Motors. Because those guys don't do that sort of thing, right? Right. So he spent a month working not on the topic, but on convincing people that he was there for an authentic conversation. And I think we can do those same things, and it's really easy. I know I had a I had a problem with one of my uh, cable providers, uh, people who provide our cable television at my house. My son went downstairs, and there was a huge tragedy in that he couldn't find Cartoon Network. <laughs> right. It, it wasn't where it used to be. And so I'm trying to find it. And I, I actually tweeted something about way to go Comcast. You just took, you know, it's Saturday morning and you took cartoons away from my son. Thanks a lot. And within about an hour, I got a, a tweet back from Comcast help desk saying, you must not have seen our new channel lineup. Cartoon Network is at channel 443. And, and that wasn't that wasn't a, a what I'd call a really deep conversation, but they talked to me like I was a human. Uh, they got me the answer that I needed in you know record time. I didn't have to actually call anybody, and so that gave me a, a you know really um, a much deeper appreciation for them as a company than uh, if I'd have had to call a help desk and they just said, "Well, didn't you get the flyer?" And I said, "Well, if I got the flyer, I wouldn't be calling you," and I would have had to go through all. Of these things, but instead they, they took a much more conversational path. And I think we need to look at the dynamics of, of how we think about our customers, right? So what's the kind of social dynamic that we're in, going to engage in? And if we're going to engage in typical marketing, which is here, let me show you a brochure, then we're going to get one level of collaboration with our customers. If we engage in conversational dynamics, then we're going to get a much different level of collaboration.